Hello everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at the Collector's Edition or the Storybook Edition for Odin Sphere. Um, this is the remake, so yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so let's open this thing up. So if you notice, there's no more uh, packaging or there's no more wrapping on it. Um, I did have to inspect, of course, the contents, but um, inside we do have the following. <clears throat> Pretty nice art, it's vanilla wear, so yeah, I like it. <clears throat> First up is the steel book. So there's a sleeve. This this okay, I, I really like how they did the packaging on this. Um let me zoom out a bit. Okay, there you go. So I really like how they're doing this. Um I know a lot of people don't like the steel books, but this is a steel sleeve. Um you can feature a different art on on it um, I mean this one is the same but this one on the back it's really nice it's a watercolor I think it's a watercolor style but um, you have a shirt comes in a large I don't know on the original release if this was um, you can select what size you are but yeah I'll show I'll show it off later and then I believe this is a postcard or a poster Let's double check. Okay, looks like this is okay. Looks like this. Is, it looks like it's painted. Or yeah, it looks like this is a frameable picture. This is really nice. Um, I'll probably get this frame because um, yeah, vanilla wear. Um, like a lot of people or. Some people will actually say like, oh, it's like just anime art and everything. But the way VanillaWare does their art, it's really unique. Like, I, I, like most of their games have this painting style art. Um, it's really nice. Uh, see? Like, yeah, it's... <clears throat> like here, um, again, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the art book. It's hard, it's hard cover, so that's a nice touch. Yeah, I, I really like Vanilla Ware's art. Um, there's something about the paint. Like, it feels like a painting. I know it's not, but like, it feels like a painting on how, like, all of their artwork. Like, and that's the thing, it's not even on just the promotional art, it's on the gameplay as well. Like, most of their artists like this, even on game. So, kudos to, uh, kudos to them. But yeah, but, um, Odin Sphere and Muramasa were some of the standouts and now um 13 sentinels is as well so vanilla wares artist is like top tier when it comes to like video game art um it has this uh like painting quality that you would like or a lot of people like um it's not just like hand drawn or, or like yeah see, see the difference like this one seems like i don't know uh, I like this style better. This one I don't like too much. Um, the other one, uh, I like this one better when it comes to like the photographer or the actual painting style. Um, but yeah, um, vanilla wear. I re again, I can't state it enough. I really like their art style. So let's uh, picture it all together. I, um, I'm going to try a brand new form when it comes to uh, rating collector's edition just because it's it's mostly going to be subjective on how or what you prioritize when it comes to collectors like is it the number of items in there the quality or would it be like you know what kind of items like for example um here's the shirt um let me try it on and uh, I'll show you guys 
All right, so this is what the shirt actually looks like. It's a little too big for me now. Like it's a uh, since it's an L, I usually wear around um, small to medium shirts. Um, so yeah, it's a little too big, but I like the design. It's simple. It's subtle. Like there's no logo of like Odin Sphere in here. It's literally just. What is this? A bottle plus an apple. Um, it's a potion. So, I like it. Um, it's very simple. It's very subtle when it comes to shirt designs. Um, so, yeah. Right. So, overall, I actually like this collector's edition. So, we have this art book. Of course, Vanillaware's art book is, or art, is really nice. Um, we have the steel, the game itself with the steel sleeve, and we have this frameable image. Um, so it's more likely this is going to be just a poster that you can frame, or I would prefer if people just frame this. And uh, let me fold this. It fits on the picture, but a fairly discreet shirt. Um, you know, you can actually wear this and then, you know, people, um, a fairly discreet shirt. And I would say, yeah, you can just wear this anywhere, like, you know, as a normal casual shirt. Um, I mean, other again, other than like this small Altus Sega, um, all rights reserved here. It's fairly discreet. It could be like, you know, either a meme shirt or anything, but yeah, like it's something that you can wear and then pretty much only fans will get it. Um, so yeah, I, again, I really like it. Um, from what I understand, it's not as widely available now because again, this is a pretty old collector's edition. So if you can get it at a reasonable price, I'd say go for it. Um, again, reasonable price is up to you on what the reasonable price is when it comes to collector's edition. I got this when it was MSRP. I believe it was less than a hundred, so I got it at that price. Um, and the shirt again, the shirt is not too bad. Um, it's not the flexible fabric from how I, how it felt when I was wearing it. Um, but again, design is fairly discreet. You know, you won't mind wearing it casually, and then you know, it's not announced that you're a fan of this particular franchise um the painting itself is even the painting is super discreet like like if i were just to just frame this and just show it off like people wouldn't know unless they're an actual fan of the series like it's just oh it's a, it's a nice it's a nice picture <laughs> so i like how they did this collector's edition and again i would highly recommend if you can get it at i'd say below 100 USD, um, get it. Because again, this is pretty, this collector's edition, the bundle is pretty hard to find now. And I, it's pretty worth it. Again, just for the art book itself, because Vanillaware's art is wonderful. Um, then of course you have your painting or your photo here that you can frame. Don't, don't staple it on the wall because people who, do, who does that are monsters. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the shirt, the very discreet shirt that came with it. Again, um, I don't know if the shirt ch size changes depending on the product you're or, or the product you're getting. Um, but yeah, this one came with a large. So just as a warning, this is a uh, size L. Uh, from what I understand, it's USL. So it's a uh, American American size um, L. So uh, again, it's pretty. It's like a size bigger or a size or a size or two big for me. Um, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll be releasing more videos on collector's edition pretty soon. We'll be unboxing some Gundam Double uh, O um, Gundam Double O blu-ray 20th anniversary editions um on on next up and yeah i will talk to you all later bye